Subscribe Smart Tech Magic's channel and hit the bell icon beside it and on the bell icon select all to watch latest tech videos before anyone else. Hello friends, Master Darshan Kumar Dash, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel Smart Tech Magic's. Here in this video, I'm going to do the full explanation of the project face recognition based attendance monitoring system using Python. By the way, earlier I tried to do the live demonstration of this project, there were live streaming on YouTube, but due to some network issues or maybe my hardware is too weak to support, I was unable to do the live stream. So I've decided to do the whole recording and upload it on YouTube as a premiere. Now, anyways. Now I have divided the explanation in two parts so as such I am going to upload two videos regarding this topic. In this part of the video I am going to briefly explain the algorithm and all the modules of the project and also show how to install all the modules in the easiest possible method. In the next part that is in the next video I will show how to run the code in six different python softwares in seven different methods and also I will explain the code thereby showing how the code is executed. So that that's it, now let's move to the computer screen. So now we are in the desktop screen and now I am going to explain all the modules as well as the algorithm used in this project. So first of all what algorithm used in this project, it's nothing but hard cascade classifier algorithm. This algorithm is used in this project. Now hard feature based cascade classifiers is an effective object detection method proposed by Paul Viola and Michael Jones in their research paper Rapid Object Detection Using Boosted Cascade of Simple Features in 2001. It is a machine learning based approach where cascade function is trained a lot of positive images that is images of faces and negative images that is images without faces. It is then used to detect objects in other images. The algorithm needs a lot of positive and negative images to train the classifier. So basically hard cascade is used in this project to identify your face either your face is there or not or uh, if you are known or unknown these things are cleared out by hard cascade algorithm because of this hard cascade algorithm our face is detected and many more. Now let's talk about the modules that are necessary for this project. So the modules used are as follows, you can see is open civic country python tk tools date time python csv numpy pillow pandas times and pytest shuttle. Now let's first talk about open civic country python. OpenCV Contrib Python is a package that contains pre-built OpenCV with dependencies and Python bindings so that there is no need to install OpenCV separately. OpenCV is an open source computer vision and machine learning software library. It was built to provide a common infrastructure for computer vision applications and to accelerate the use of machine perception in the commercial products. If basically, if you install OpenCV Contrib Python, then along with OpenCV many other necessary modules also get installed. Like when I did this project, I have seen that while installing this uh, OpenCV Contrib Python, even NumPy module got installed along with this OpenCV. So anyways, now let's move to the next module that is used in this project. The next module is TK Tools. TK TCL has long been an integral part of the Python. It provides a robust and platform independent windowing toolkit that is available to Python programmers using the Tinker package and its extension the Tinker.tix and the Tinker.ttk modules. The Tinker package is the object oriented layer on top of TCL by TK. So TK Tools is basically this what I have just said it's having long been an integral part of the program python this is all about the ticket tools now let's move to the date time the date time module supplies for manipulating dates and times date time module comes with built into python so that there is no need to install it externally date time module supplies classes to work with date and time these classes provide a number of functions to deal with data with dates time and time interval so basically date time in this project is used to detect the time of when you have registered as well as the time when you are taking the attendance this 
all details are stored because of this date time module without this module these details can't be stored now the next module that i'm going to explain is is python csv python csv is nothing but c it's a csv format csv format is the most common import and export format for spreadsheets and databases the csv module implement classes to read and write tabular data in csv format it allows programmers to say write this data in format preferred by excel without knowing the precise of cv details of cv preferred of csv format used by excel basically the excel sheet which will be generated from this code it's because of this python csv module without the python csv module this excel sheet will not be generated now let, let's move to the next module which is numpy numpy is a fundamental package for scientific computing in python it is the python library that provides a multi-dimensional array object various derived objects and assortment of routines for operations on arrays including mathematical logical shape manipulation sorting selecting io discrete Fourier, transform etc. Basically NumPy module is used as the complete mathematical operation for this python code where you can do sorting, selecting, logical, shape, whatever I have already told and basically it is used to do the mathematical operations in python. Now let's move to the next module which is Pilo. Pilo is a build on top fill that is python image library. Pill is one of the most important modules for image processing in python. However, Pil module is not supported since 2011 and does not support in python 3. Pillow module gives more functionalities runs on all major operating system and support for python 3. This is all about the pillow module or pill whatever you would like to say. Now let's move to the pandas module. Pandas. Panda is an open source library in Python. It provides ready to use high performance data structures and data analysis tools. Panda module runs on top of NumPy and it is popularly used for data science and data analytics. Pandas are mainly used for data analysis. It allows importing data from various file formats such as CSV, JSON, SQL, Microsoft Excel. It also allows various data manipulation operations such as merging, reshaping, selecting as well as data cleaning and data wrangling features. So this is all about the pandas module. Now let's move on to the times module. Times. Python time module provides many ways of representing time code such as object numbers and strings other than representing times it also provides a functionality like waiting during the code execution and measuring the efficiency of our code basically using this times module when you are clicking on to take images it takes some time and that time is controlled by this time module and that's it for the time module now let's move to the last module i mean last but not the least which is pytest shuttle Pytest Shuttle, this is a library which is a goodie bag of Unix and environment tools for uh, automated tests. It contains 5.py files. So this is all about the Pytest Shuttle and these are all whatever I have explained in brief. Now let me show you how to install all the modules in the easiest possible method. By installing the modules, let me say you one thing very clearly, you need to install it on command prompt as well as anaconda prompt. In both these prompt softwares, you need to install all the modules. Okay, now let's open files. Then let's go to the folder where the modules are present. These are all the installed commands. Let me open com let me install it in command prompt at first. Now here just click here and completely select everything up till this way. Just like this way. Now just copy them. and paste it on command prompt c 
see it's installing all the libraries or modules whatever like to, to say and as I've already told that if you install OpenCV contrib NumPy will also get installed automatically and that's happening here you can ignore these red color errors that came just now uh, wait a minute you can ignore these red and yellow color errors which came just now your project will run fine no problem within few minutes all the modules will get installed you can simply ignore this red colored error I think it's completely done now I'm going to repeat the same process in anaconda prompt this thing is installed in command prompt now I'm going to do the same thing in anaconda prompt simply drag and select the whole thing copy it and this is the anaconda prompt just open it here also paste the thing in the same way it will also get installed in anaconda prompt just wait for it it's getting installed Just like in command prompt, even in this anaconda prompt also, you can ignore this red colored error. It will not affect your project. Your project will run fine. I think the com all the modules are completely installed even in anaconda prompt yes so in this way you can install the modules in anaconda prompt as well as command prompt so thanks for watching 
If you like this video and find this video helpful, then please hit the like button. Like target is only 50. Please help me to complete my target. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, then please subscribe it and tap the bell icon beside it. And on the bell icon, select all to watch my latest videos for anyone else. And by the way, second part of this video is coming soon. So please subscribe my channel and tap the bell icon so that you can watch the video as soon as I upload it. So once again, thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Until then, stay happy, stay safe and goodbye.